you're a parent, let me ask you, why do you often repeat things to your children? You might say, well, for one thing, they don't listen very well. They don't pay attention. They're not listening, so I have to say it over and over and over. True. And now sometimes some of the things you say over and over might not be that big of a deal if they don't hear it and don't listen. You'll take out the trash, do the dishes, wear clean underwear if you're in an accident, you know, important things like that. But there are other things if you're if you're a mom and a dad that you say for their safety because you think it think that one day it might save their life. And so you repeat it over and over, even though it seems might not seem relevant at the moment. Your mom and dad, for instance, probably made you mem uh, memorize the phone number. Another one is don't talk to strangers. And you tell them over and over, don't talk to strangers, don't talk to strangers. Why? Because one day it might save their life. You tell them if their clothes ever catch on fire, they're supposed to do what? Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. And we tell them that over and over. Why do you say it? Because one day it might save their life. There's going to come a time when you think, hey, you may need to remember this. And so you repeat it over and over. Here is one case where God says, I want you to never forget that my love endures forever. I want you to say that over and over and over in one Psalm 26 times. Why? Because the day will come when the sun is not shining and life is not so good. The time will come when your health is crumbling and when the world around you seems to be crashing down. And especially in those moments, you need to remember that truth about God and that His love endures forever, that His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning and that's worth repeating. That is worth remembering. Remember, remember, remember you. You might need this. It may save your life. And that's one of the reasons why we're here this morning. And while we're worshiping together, God wants you to remember. He wants you to remember who He is. He wants you to remember what He's done. Because, quite frankly, one day it might save your eternal life. And you need to remember that. Forgetfulness can be extremely dangerous when it comes to worship. 